Hello and welcome to CBN News Brief coming to you from Hargeisa, Somaliland. The Speaker of Somaliland's House of Representatives is drawing his case against the jailed Interior Secretary of Oid Party, Mr. Mahmoud Ali Saleban Ramah. Speaker Pasha Mohamed Farah said he informed the court that he had drawn the defamation case he brought against Mahmoud Saleban Ramah. In a press conference at his office on Monday morning, he revealed that his decision followed a mediation effort undertaken by traditional elders related to the Secretary of the Interior. The speaker said Islander has become commonplace in Somaliland's politics but he will not tolerate any offenses to his personality. On the other hand, he said he will welcome any criticism of his work as the Speaker of the House of Representatives. Mahmoud Ali Saleban Ramah was arrested last Thursday on charges of defaming the Speaker of the House of Representatives. He had accused Bashir Mohamed Farah of having relations with Somaliland's enemies. The opposition parties condemned his arrest and called the charges against him a pretext for the detention of a focal critic of Musa his government. <music> Somalia's intelligence agency play made an unnamed foreign country for the deadly terrorist attack that rocked Mogadishu on Saturday. In a brief statement on social media, the spy agency said a foreign nation has planned the massacre of the Somali civilians in Mogadishu on December 28th. NISA continued that the preliminary report on this regard was submitted to the leaders of the federal government of Somalia. The agency added that it will cooperate with some of international intelligence agencies to complete their investigation. 89 people have been killed in Saturday's attack in Agas Fgoya control in Mogadishu. More than 150 others were also injured. This was the deadliest attack in Somalia since 2017 in Sobe bombing that killed 587 people. The leader of Himilo opposition party Abdurrahman Abdishakur was some criticized the statement of the intelligence agency. Abdurrahman said the objective of the statement was not only to cover up the government's failure but to exonerate Al-Shabaab from the responsibility of the massacre. He added that this move could be interpreted to be going beyond collaborating with Al-Shabaab. A woman who was among the 16 victims of the air control attack airlifted for a specialized treatment into Turkey has passed away. The deceased was identified as Amina Osman Khayre. The plane has evacuated 16 critically injured people on Sunday morning. President Mohammed Abdullahi for Macho and the Emergency Response Committee oversaw the airlifting of the critically injured. The plane also took the bodies of two Turkish engineers who were killed in Saturday's terror attack. The plane carrying the injured arrived in Ankara on Sunday night and the 16 were admitted in four hospitals in the Turkish administrative capital. In coordination with the federal government of Somalia, the United States Africa Command conducted three airstrikes in two locations targeting Al Shabaab militants in the vicinity of Kunyo Barro and Aliyo Barro in Somalia, respectively, on December 29th. In a press statement, the initial assessment reported that the two airstrikes killed two militants and destroyed two vehicles in Kunyo Barro, and one airstrike killed two militants in Aliyo Barro. These precision airstrikes targeted Al Shabaab militants responsible for attacks against innocent Somali citizens. The United States and the federal government of Somalia increased their pressure on Al Shabaab group in order to deny them the ability to pull out further attacks. <music> the southwest state of Somalia on Sunday passed out 385 police officers who completed six months of training at General Kahia Police Training Academy in Mogadishu. The police officers are the first group to be trained for Lower Shabelle region of the southwest state of Somalia. They will be part of the southwest state police force to secure liberated areas. The president of southwest state of Somalia, Abdi Aziz Hassan Mohammed Loftakran, who was the chief guest at the passing out parade, congratulated the graduating officers who comprised of 24 women and 371 men. 
President Abdelaziz also urged the officers to be exemplary professional, strive to deliver justice and work closely with the public. During the training, the recruiters were taught the history and organizational structure of SPF, the principles and the concepts of policing, community policing, crime prevention, professional standards and code of ethics, criminal investigation, intelligence, counterterrorism and human rights. Somalia's government welcomed the discovery of a long lost Darwish film and expressed its commitment to advancing the history of the Darwish anti colonial struggle. Saleba Yusuf Ali Kora, the Minister of Information today in a press conference, commended the discovery as crucial to the revival of the Darwish legacy. The epic four hour long film was found in the National Film Archive of India for after 34 years of its completion in 1985. It is made by Somaliland poet and playwright Saeed Saleh Ahmed. The minister stated the government's commitment to advance the legacy of the Darwish movement. Saleban Yusuf Kore announced that the government will organize conferences to celebrate and commemorate the historical nationalistic struggle of the Darwish movement. He said the conferences will be held in the nation's capital here in Hargeisa and the historic basis of the movement in Taleh and elsewhere. The Darwish waged a relentless war against the British rule in Somaliland between 1898 and 1921. It is credited with the inception of the Somali nationalism and inspired all later nationalistic movements across the Somali regions. Minister Kore asserted that the Darwish heritage belongs to Somaliland's people who are very proud of it. He stated that Somaliland could not be antagonized by invoking the legacy of the Darwish movement. Thank you for joining us. I'm Abdullah Hassan. Stay tuned for our full and more detailed news coverage with you on Steko.